Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello. How's everybody doing? I'm good. Fine, thank you, teacher. How you doing, Guille, Ivan, Melissa, Paco, Diana? Hello, hello. Oh, I got something. Good evening, good evening. Hello, Sorry, guys. Something in my eye. How is everybody doing? Okay. I'm doing everybody okay. okay. Thank you. Nice. Welcome to... A ver. What do we call this day? Today's Wednesday. Today is hump day. There we go. There we go. You got it. There we go. Wednesday. 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 We'll talk about the pronunciation for Wednesday as well. Wednesday. Today is ladies night. Today is margarita night. Bueno, it was at Los Cebollines. Did you guys ever did you guys ever go there for margarita night? No. No, no. Two margaritas for the price of one. A good promotion. You know, you know I I you I try not to drink coffee from Starbucks. I do everything possible so that I don't do that. However, from time to time, I do, and you guys will see me, you know, with my little Starbucks cup. When do you guys think you will see me with the Starbucks cup? When they put, yeah, there we go, there we go, Paco. Buy one, get one free. And so, you know, a lot of people say, well, why are you buying there? Why don't you go to another place? Hello, Karen. Hello, Glenda. You know, there's not too Hello, many teacher. places. Hello, Karen. There's not too many places que se, que se consideren like 100% Salvadoran. They have some sort of investment from somewhere else. So even if they say that they are 100% Salvadoran, they're getting money from somewhere else. So, you know, investment is investment. I don't think anybody's going to say, I, I don't want your million dollars because you are from Afghanistan. You know, you're going to say, yeah, give me the money. And so I try to buy from Coffee Cup. I try to buy from, uh, um, I think there's one called Viva Cafe, or I think that's what it's called. Viva or Vive, Vive Cafe or something like that. And then I try to visit like the little coffee shops. But when Starbucks goes two for one, you got to have it. You know, if you really think about it, you're paying $5 for two. So te salen a dos cincuenta, which is exactly what everybody else is charging. So why not? Right? You know, that's that's the way I look at it. You know, why not? All right. Hello, hello. Well, we have, let me see how many people we have. Two, four, five, six. Oh, we're, we're a little bit short. Um. You know what? Let me start it. Uh, let me start with our work environment real quick. Uh, remember that as time progresses this week and next week, we are going to touch very, very little. Uh, the topic for work environment. Um, and that is because the idea is for you guys to get used to working on it. And then once you guys, you know, are are working on it, then all we do is kind of go back and review it or, you know, talk about certain topics, but not too much into it. So uh, let me share my screen. I want to share everything today. I have nothing to hide. Y nada que sale ahí los videos prohibidos. All right, let me see. We have, can everybody see the web? Can everybody see? Can everybody see my screen? Yes. Okay. Yes. I believe this was the last one 
we were working on, which was a listening exercise. And this is actually the midterm. So let me go back here a little bit. Let me go back to 3.11, I believe it was. 3.10, 3.11, okay. Okay, so we were able to complete the exercise for 3.11. And then once you guys complete the exercise for 3.11, then the midterm begins. And the way the midterm is set up is it goes by letters or by sections. Uh, for example, the first section is listening. And then you listen to the recording and then you answer. Once you complete that, you go into B, which is rewriting sentences. And they, they tell you here, what do you need to do? Well, rewrite them and turn it passive by adding the word by, right? And then so you have to go through there. How many of you guys have completed the midterm? Me. Is that, is that you, Guy? Ivan? Yes, Paco? Okay, all right. I completed the, the midterm today. Good. Yeah. All right, good for you, good for you. Okay, we won't go into the midterm unless you guys need to go into it. So for example, tomorrow, if you guys tell me I went to this section and I need some help, we can go over it. Other than that, it's just a quick, a quick overview, right? So you go one by one. Uh, the second one is the rewriting sentences. Uh, C is completing sentences. We go into circling the words reading or reading comprehension and that's it for the midterm and we begin section four section four and section five we finish on our final week so you could say that we can take uh, f uh, two days to kind of quickly review section four and then section five in the last two days and that's pretty much it. That's it. That's all we have for you guys in regards to the platform. Platform work. Now, what do you need to get a certification? What percentage? 80. 80%. There you go. You guys got it. So please make sure you guys cover some of these modules, go through the videos so that you can get the little check mark and you guys can get. Well, you know what? Attendance for us is not. I don't want to say that I, I don't like it that you guys come to class. However, it does not affect your score in certification, if you guys have noticed. We take the score that you get from the platform work, and that's it. And we use our class, yeah, there we go. For our knowledge, we recommend it. We recommend that you come to class because how else are you gonna get practice, right? All right, good guys, good. So that's it for our platform. Let me go ahead and switch over. Let me see how many people we have. You know what? I think we might be set. I think we might be set for the break room. And OK. So here we go. I need a volunteer to show me, to work with me, and show the rest of the class what we're going to be doing in our break room today before we start talking about our exercises. Volunteers. Yeah, Ivan, help me out. Thank you very much. OK, Ivan, yep. yesterday, yesterday we practiced the basic, the name. OK, okay. Um, what else did we the, what else did we touch on besides the name? We practiced to the age the hobbies, likes and dislikes, favorite music, what else, favorite food, our last job. Yeah, there we go. 
That's pretty good, Ivan. That's pretty good, man. That's a lot. Last job. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. So, what are we doing today? Now, these are basic introduction items. You know, I would say the name, the age, the hobby. Sorry, I spelled hobby wrong. Hobby. What you like and dislike is a little bit more personal information. Food, music falls into that category. Personal, personal information, like a job, is really personal, right? Not too many people like to talk about jobs and what they do in the jobs, especially how much they get paid. People don't like to talk about that stuff, okay? Now, what I want us to imagine, I, I you know, I wanted to say that we were meeting somebody for the first time in a non-relationship role as a friend. Um, I used to be part of a book club. And after, I would say, maybe six months, we decided to have a little meeting. You know, there was only like six people there. But it was very interesting because it was like a little drill that we did to get to know everybody, right? And how do you get to know somebody? Well, you share information. So we are going to do it in the same way. There is another name for it, which is called the speed dating, right? But we're not going to date. That's, that's not what this is about today. And so we're going to discuss items that are a little bit more personal to us. So, for example, I want us to talk about our family life. How big is your family? Okay. I want to talk about your significant other and the kids, if there are any. If there's no kids, we could use pets. Pets. Okay. I want us to talk about where we live. And that includes everything. How long. And if you like it, if you like living there. Teacher, pero, pero if I didn't like it here, I would move. Oh, wait a minute. It's not that easy. I don't like living where I'm living, but I don't move. You know? So if you like living there, I want you to talk about why you like living there. If you don't like living there, I want you to talk about why not. Okay. All right. So if you guys run out of questions, you guys are free to ask any personal question as long as is appropriate, as long as it maintains a level of respect and professionalism, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. So let me start off. I'm going to stop the sharing. And I am going to request the breakout rooms. And let me see, do we have, yeah, I think it switched it around. If you find yourselves with the same person, it's okay, right? Let me know and I'll try to move it around. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you guys are going to get the invite. Do you guys know what you guys are supposed to do? See, teacher, see. Yes. 
There we go, right? Follow up the conversation. Yesterday, we talked about our name, which is the basic. Today, we're going to talk a little bit more. We're going to talk about family life. We want to talk about significant other kids or pets. We want to talk about where we live, how long we've lived there. Do you like living there? Why or why not? And then we can go from there. Okay. And then as we're moving through the rooms, I'll add different items per group. All right, here we go, guys. Whoa, whoa. accept my invitation, please. Okay, thank you. All right, all right. My friend Mario, there's an invitation. Dele click on invitation, Mario, can you hear me? Hello, hello, Mario. Mario, are you there? Mario, can you hear me? There we go. Con permisa. <laughs> okay. You're welcome, at, uh, teacher. Hey, hey, ¿qué tal, qué tal? So welcome. remember, we're, we're starting from the beginning with the start. Con el nombre. Hi, my name is Roberto. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm 32 years old. Um, I've been working at a call center for the past five years. You know, that basic stuff. And then we're going to start about uh, asking about family, about where we live, uh, about, uh, you know, anything else that you guys can talk about to try to see what we have in common, all right? To try to okay. see if we, have, if we have something in common, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna ask you, did you guys have something in common, okay? Okay. All right, all right, here we go. Hello, my... Discussions? Or... Sometimes, but okay, that's it's normal. I yeah, guess. yeah, yeah. It's normal in families. And do you have any pet? Yes, I have a dog. What kind of? Mm, French. <laughs> ah, uh, uh, bulldog exactly. French or just French? Just French. Ah, it's a small dog. Yes. Qué bonito, qué bonito. Con, per, con permiso. Dele, dele, niño. All right, I, Ivan, Melissa, good to hear you guys going. Um, remember, we want to do, this is what I want. I, I, I guess I should have told you at the very beginning. I want to see if you guys have anything in common, anything, right? And then I'm going to come back and ask you at the end of the conversation if you guys had anything in common. It's okay if you don't, right? Uh, that's the idea, to find out whether you do or you don't. All right? Okay, we got I'll, you. Okay. I'll be back. Uh, I'll be back. See you. It's far from your house, the park. Yeah. yeah. Uh, really? Good to see you guys. Con permiso. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello. I want to know, I guess, <laughs> what we want to get from this exercise is, of course, for you guys to practice to not be nervous. You know, you have to feel like you're talking to a friend. And I think that's the best way to do it. But I also want to see if you guys have anything in common. So I'm going to come back at the end and ask you if you guys have anything in common, okay? 
algo en común. Sí. All right. All right. Take it away. Me voy, me retiro. Tun, 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 tun. <laughs> Uh -huh. the, that, um, and what, what is your job? Why you you have to move around the other, all the country? Well, I do shuttle uh, transportation from the airport to different places. Is like a taxi or uh, or bus. Uh, transportation, but I do uh, I do it my own. Mm -hmm. Con permiso, yeah. con permiso. Sorry about that, Paco. Good, good for you. The shuttle, nice. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Um, good going with the conversation. Just wanted to bring up the more we have a conversation and the more questions we ask, I think that it's easier for us to find out if we have anything in common. So I'm gonna come and stop at the end and ask you if there's anything in common between you, Paco, and Diana, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm All right, up. take it away, take it away, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Why do you have me the... clad, oh man? I want to, I want to sell you at Internet of Tigo. <laughs> uh, so, so uh, uh, the last week I I signed another contract uh, for. In that, just like copying and paste things, and you know. 
I understand. And that is great. Yeah, you could say that. It's nice. And what do you do for for living? Um, I ensure about the risk in the company. So, um, Do you practice any sport? No. <laughs> you don't practice? No, I don't like sports. You don't no. like sports. <laughs> or <only> dance. <laughs> oh, I, 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 It's nice. <laughs> okay. and, I teach it. <laughs> you do speak very well. Mm. <laughs> uh, I maybe, but <laughs> my afraid it's about the fluency because um, uh, maybe I don't have. Um, I love true true stories. I love true stories. Hello, Glenda. Hello, Karen. Hello. Hello. How how easy has it been to talk, or how hard? Was it easier to do it like this or was it harder, do you think? It's hard. It's, it's hard. hard, yes. Because the vocabulary. Okay, okay. All right. Now, we, we can understand that, right? We, we have an expectation, so we know that. Yes. Now, what can you do? to make your vocabulary bigger? Yes. What, what do you think you can do? Um, read in the dictionary. You can do the dictionary, but now you have to be careful with the dictionary because in the dictionary, you will learn the word but it doesn't talk too much about how to use it in the real life or in the real world. So yes, it's good. I, I, I recommend for you to go to the dictionary, but try to use magazines, try to use, um, there's like little novellas, right? Little books with, you know, little stories. Uh, yeah. Try to watch videos as much as you can in English. And that way yes. you begin to use the words that you see on TV or that you hear in music or that you see in a book. Yes. So that, all right. All right. So good way to go. All right. We're, we're going to, I'm going to leave you guys, but I think we're going to, we're going to, it's already 831. So we're going to leave the breakout rooms. Okay. 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 Thank you. teacher. Way to go, Karen. Way to go, Glenda. Okay. okay. Thank you. teacher.
Teacher, you are muted. Oh my goodness, you and you know I can't say those beautiful words again. You know, it, it only happens once, and and this mute button is killing me. You know, I I never have it on mute, so when I put it, you know, I I I I just forget. I I sorry about that. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. All right. Uh, let me see. I think we're all set. Hello. Hello, Mario. Hello. We got you, Mario. We got you. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Okay. So, Ivan, remember that you had volunteered to help me out. I don't think we, we really did too much on um, in that regard. Yep. So how should these conversations go? Well, you, you know, you're meeting somebody for the first time. Let's let's play it out. Um, and you guys and you guys can watch us. And if you guys want, we can practice. And then you guys can give us feedback, right? Feedback is always very, very good. Hello, hello, Miriam. Javier, 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 Miriam, see, sí, Javier. Hello, hello, welcome. All right, Ivan, from the very start. Okay, all right. Okay. I'm going to start and then you kind of just follow along and then we'll switch real quick. Okay. Okay. Let's try. Hey, how you doing? Uh, my name is Roberto Martinez. What's your name? Hey, man. Nice, nice to meet you. My name is Ivan Herrera. Ivan, nice to meet you as well. So uh, how long have you been coming here? Well, I think that I've been coming here for two years. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, this is going to be my first year, you know. And how old are you? I'm 24. What about you? Nice. Uh, yeah, I'm 27. Ah, well, oh, we're nice. almost at the same age. Yeah, almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could be friends, right? We could really be friends, yeah. Uh, so that that's really cool, man. That's really cool. You know, uh, some things that I really absolutely like are, I'm going to say food. I absolutely like food. Every single type of food, I I, I really like it. Uh, personally, I could eat pupusas every day for the rest of my life, and, and that's going to be okay. What's your How favorite? many? How many? Oh, only two. Ah, yeah, okay. only two. Yeah, yeah. No, that's why I can do it for a very long time. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Now, now, now I see. And what about you? What's your favorite food? Well, I would say maybe lasagna. Oh, nice. Okay. And, and also pupusa, obviously. Yeah. I, you, I got to say that, right? You got to do it. You got to do it. And what type of music do you like? I would say everything. Okay. So I, I don't have like any favorite kind of music. Yes. For something, I will try to dance. You know what? I feel the same way. I, I, I think that musical m music in general is very hard to make. So, you know, f as bad as it might sound, I think that you have to be an artist to be able to, you know, to play it. So I like every single type of music as well. And what, what do you do for a living? I, I have been like trying to learn to make websites in the past two years so oh that's nice i would say that i'm doing that for now is, is that like a website developer or software developer not along yet. those lines not yet because you have to make your own code to be called like that for now let's say that i'm just a, a website designer website designer okay yeah that's good man well i you know i've been i've actually been uh, in sales mostly all of my life so i'm a salesman you know, naturally okay. born. And I think ever since I was a little kid, I used to sell a lot of things, candies, drugs, alcohol, you know, everything. I, I, I've sold it. So okay, okay. that's what I do for a living. Um, how about uh, family? Do you are, are you married? Not yet. I'm still trying to get some some girlfriend, right? Keep trying. Keep trying. I've been married four times. So oh, you can give me some tips then. If, if I could do it, Ivan. You could do it, my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Thank got you, it. Man. Thank All you. All right. Uh, do you have any kids? No, no, just pets. 
Okay. All right. Wait, the pet. What type? What type of pets do you have? I got some cats. That one cat came here and gave birth to them, so I wasn't able to give them. I out. see. All right. Well, yeah. You know, I tried to. I tr I tried the cat, and I found out that I was allergic, so I couldn't keep a cat. Um, I tried the dog, but for some weird reason, I, I you know, dogs. I don't know. I I wasn't too big on pets. Uh, with four legs. So what I did is I got a little parrot. Well, you, you got something at least. Yeah, I have a little periquito. Yeah, yeah, they're really nice. But now I feel really bad because when I see them flying, you know, I almost want to let them go. But then I think that, you know, somebody's going to kill them or eat them. And then so I, I don't want to do that anymore. Okay, well, yeah, that's nice to hear. And where do you live, Ivan? I live in San Miguel. Now I'm San just visiting Michael. some family here. Nice. How long have you lived in San Michael? All my life. I was born here and I really like it. And you really like it? How about how do you feel about the heat? I got used to it. Uh, now I can like like really enjoy it. It's weird. <laughs> that well yeah, that's nice. All right. Are you into gaming? Do you like to game? I know that you're into web pages, but do you like to do like online gaming? Not really, not really. No? How about um, reading books? Do you like to read books? I would say that I prefer to read books than, than playing do, video do games. You, do you have a favorite book? I like to, to read like different kind of topics to learn something new. Well, yeah, yeah, that's good. I feel the same way. All right, mm. cool, that's it, Ivan. Pido okay. time, pido time. Okay. I know that it, sometimes it feels like, oh, my God, why are you asking that type of information? Why are you? Well, remember, remember, remember the setting, right? If you are meeting somebody for the first time that you're going to share a classroom with, for example, um, the classroom or the class can be four weeks long. From the very beginning, the idea is to get to know the person that you're sitting next to, right? And that way you can identify whether you guys can work together or maybe not. And then based on that, you know, you can either choose to sit there again the next day or move around and then kind of just, you know, try to find you, somebody that fits the same way that, you know, that, that, that you do things. Now, in order for you to kind of have a good time in class, that's usually what you do, right? But there are people who really like to meet other people and contrast. So for example, if I'm very friendly and talkative, I go and sit down to somebody who's not, right? And see what they have to bring to my conversation or you know, to my life. Because if I go sit down next to somebody that's like me, oh my goodness, it, it's over. Right. It's we're never going to work. So it, it makes it a little bit more complicated. So how should you carry these conversations? Well, the moment that you ask for the name and they give it to you, that already broke the barrier. Right. And you can begin calling the person by their name. You can continue saying Ivan or you can continue saying Robert, Robert or Ivan. Now, there is only one specific title that you never break and that is the doctor if i tell you that my that my name is dr martinez you will continuously mention dr martinez you will not break that particular barrier i went to school for 11 years to be called a doctor right so i've earned the right and that's what I want you to do. Now, for everything else, here, here in El Salvador, tenemos licenciados, tenemos ingenieros, tenemos arquitectos. However, in the United States, we don't. There is no title out there that somebody will use, like they use doctor. All right? Everybody clear with that? All right. Okay, good, good. So... This is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be talking about more and more and more. I notice a couple of you guys kind of stay quiet and somebody has to 
literally take the information with a spoon, right? That's kind of like sp spooning information out. Eventually, you're going to get used to it, and eventually you're going to start to interact as well. Uh, it's okay at the very beginning, but remember that the idea is to have a two-way conversation where, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, Ivan asked me a question right after I finished mine. So what type of food do you like? Pizza. Well, what type of food do you like? Um, you know, where did you go to school? I went here. Where did you go to school? Yeah, see, and it has to be back and forth. And that's why it's called a conversation, because it's two ways, right? It's two people talking to one another and following along in the same thread in regards to the same conversation. So that's the idea. All right. All right. Way to go, everybody. Way to go. Back and forth. That is how you spell it. Yeah. Back and forth. And that is a good back and forth. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and move along. Let me go ahead. Am I sharing? No, I'm not sharing yet, right? Let me go ahead and share with you guys. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let me, I'm gonna share everything. I share everything with you guys. Here you go, here it is. Okay. As you guys can see, I am at our website. And I am using our sheets, our live worksheets. I wanted to go back a little bit in regards to the stuff that we saw in our platform or previous sections or pre previous modules. And one that I feel that maybe we need to kind of go over real quick is, I think somebody brought it up as well, present perfect Present perfect continuous, present perfect simple. And kind of touch up on how that works. And I don't think we have done this one yet. Do you guys remember us doing this live worksheet? No, right? This is gonna be brand new for us. Uh, we, we'll, we'll learn a little bit of present okay. perfect, continuous. But but not this sheet, right, Guy? We didn't no. use this one. Okay, good. No, okay. All right. So this one, I, I actually have two for you guys on this one. And so for this one, we are looking at present perfect simple. And we are looking at present perfect continuous. And so for present perfect simple, what is it that you need? What is the formula? You can either use have or has and then you add a past participle. Now, when we are talking about present perfect simple, we are interested in the result of the action. There was an action, and I want to know what the result was of that action, okay? The room was gray, and now it's blue. Hmm? I've painted the bedroom. Now, in this particular scenario, we don't know when the room was painted. Is everybody okay so far? The result of the action. The room was gray and now it's blue. How did that happen? Well, I've painted the bedroom. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, when do we use to say how much we've done, how many things or how many times, but we don't say when we did the action? Ah, that's very important. Peter has bought a new car. Or I have played tennis twice this week. So give this a look and tell me what you think. It's an action that is done. That is correct, Paco. So, so think of it like this, right? 
whenever you want to use present perfect simple, the first thing is you have to use have, right? Or you have to start it with has. So it can be either you can use you can use either or. Here, this is a contraction for I have. And that's why you can use it. I have painted the bedroom. Now, what's important about this is that there is no specific time. There is no date. There is no day. There is no time. What you're saying is it happened, but we just don't know when it happened. I've painted the car, but we don't know when. We know that there's a change. Hmm? Hey, your room used to be gray and now it's blue. Yeah, I know. I have painted the bedroom. I've painted the bedroom. And that's it. Now, you can follow up this conversation by asking, when did you paint it? All right. But if nobody's asking, you can leave it like that. The second portion is, once again, you're using have and has. However, now there's a little word right in the middle. The word been. And then verbing. So it's the verb with the letters ending ing. We are interested in the action itself. So in the first one, we were interested in the result. In this one, we're interested in the action. My clothes are covered in paint. I've been painting the room. Hmm? Some of the uses to say how long something has been happening. How long has she been reading? She has been reading since 10 o'clock and she's still reading. So what are we doing with bin? We are doing something that has not stopped or that has been going on for some time. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and try one of these. Let's see how we turn out. Number one, exercise number one says fill the gaps with the correct. Fill the gaps with the correct for of the verb, with the correct form of the verb. She's a fantastic swimmer, but she never win an medal. Hmm has never won a medal. Can't use an. She's a fantastic swimmer, but she has never won a medal. Well, that's, she has never won an medal? I don't know, I don't think we can, I don't think it's asking me to change that anyways. All right, let's leave it like that. She's a fantastic swimmer, but she has never won and medal. Hmm. What do you guys think? You think you think we'll get it right? Yes. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see. You see that there's a lot more here that we could try, but I don't think we have enough time. All right. Let's see. Did, uh, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we got it. That was it. All right, all right, so let's transition over to this one here, okay? So this one here, as opposed to being an exercise, it's more of an explanation, okay? And so it takes you to the different forms that you can use. When using present perfect continuous with an affirmative statement, you can use the singular forms 
the plural forms. And the only thing you have to do is add have, has, and been. For example, I have, let me see, I have, well, yeah, so it's the same word. I've been reading. I have been reading. You, you have been cooking all day long. You've been cooking. You can use he, she, or it. And you can swap them out. He has been. He's been eating all day. And I think that that's the easiest way. Is everybody okay with this? So we're using an affirmative. Okay, all right. I have been feeling great these days. He's been crying since his girlfriend left him. We've been praying for recovery. My dog has been barking all morning. The sun has been shining all day. I've been working as a cashier for two years. You can use contractions, which is what we just saw. I've or you've. Okay. And we go into the negative statements. She, she has not been crying. She hasn't been crying. Hmm? You guys can do it like that. So what did we do? Well, as you guys can see, we're still using present perfect continuous, but now we need to use a negative form. So we use the word not. And that's it. I have not been eating. Have you been eating all day? No, I have not been eating all day. And you can answer like that. Have you been sleeping all day? No, I have not been sleeping all day. Okay. So what is the only thing that you have to do to make it a negative? Not. not that is correct all right and then here are some examples right he has not been sleeping i've not been eating my boss has not been coming it hasn't been raining you haven't been studying so you can use haven't or hasn't those are okay to use okay yes no questions have you been crying no or Yes. Has she been eating? Yes. Or no. All we're doing is we, we keep on using have and been. And what could change is your words ending with ing now they have to be if you're using this format it has to be words that end with ing or else it's going to sound weird have you been cry uh-huh hey ivan have you been read Ah, uh, exactly. That's what we say, right? So they have to end with ing if you're going to use this format. Okay. Has the baby been sleeping? Have they been working? Has your mother been staying? Have you been feeling? Have you been keeping? And these are WH questions. Who, right, is the singular format? 
Well, you can use singular for I, you, he, she, it, and plural, you, we, and they. What have you been reading? What have you been reading? Oh, a bunch of books. You can use any of these. Now, just be careful. Say it to yourself, read it to yourself and see if it makes sense because sometimes they don't make too much sense. So be careful on how you're using them. Who have I cooking? Mm. Who have I been cooking? Mm, no, it doesn't sound right. So you guys have to be careful on, on how you choose that word. What form are you going to take? And then just incorporate the bin and then finish it with your verb ending with ing. All right, everybody. So I wanted to touch up on these two because I felt like maybe we, we, we forgot them or we touched them up too quickly. And I think we're going to leave it at that because you guys, we get to review our midterm for tomorrow. And then we start lesson 4.0. All right. I'll give you guys a minute back. Thank you guys for coming in today. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Namaste. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Namaste. 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 Bye, Glenn. Bye. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome.